we are in the middle of the biggest natural disaster that this state has ever experienced in modern history. Freaking apocalypse, dude. There's the electrical line on fire. Ooh. There it went. Whoa! Man, our fair city is wrecked. The state and national officials call it the largest national disaster Kentucky has ever seen. Already alerted everybody from the White House to FEMA to everybody else involved. This could last, uh, you know, days, maybe a couple more weeks. And the resolve that these folks have shown in helping each other, ensuring with the help of the National Guard, going door to door, ensuring that people, uh, everyone has been uh, contacted to ensure that they can uh, get food and water and emergency medical uh, assistance is truly, truly extraordinary. Kentucky was the hardest hit by the deadly ice storm that slammed into parts of the country on Monday. The storm is being blamed for the largest state power outage on record, initially leaving well over a million homes and businesses in the dark.
growing and deadly aftermath from ice storms that felled trees and power lines across several states earlier this week. At least 42 people are dead in nine states, many of them killed while trying to warm their homes. Half a million homes and businesses are without power. It could be days, possibly weeks, before it's restored. The situation is so critical in Kentucky, all 4,600 National Guardsmen have been pressed into service, the largest call-up in that state's history. Governor Bashir has deployed Kentucky's entire Army National Guard and part of the Air Guard. That's about 4,600 members of the military altogether. They're clearing debris and, in some rural areas, going door to door to make sure people are okay. Now the director of FEMA flew into Louisville today, then traveled to Frankfurt, then flew straight out to Grayson County. Largest sustainment operation in the history of the Commonwealth. We're moving hundreds of thousands of meals and water every day across the Commonwealth. So, without that support from FEMA, we just did not have the resources in the state. Nancy Ward is expected to tour Louisville tomorrow, and she's not the only visitor from the federal government expected in Kentucky. The Secretary of Homeland Security is expected to visit next week. Last year or so, or however many years it's been since you've used that, the brick, the mortar in between the brick may have uh, come out, and the next thing you know, your house is on fire.
Desperate situations, no heat, no water. That's what hundreds of thousands of people from the plains to Maine are facing in the wake of a deadly winter storm. Food and shelter are at a premium. We're seeing the worst of it in Kentucky. Thousands crowded into shelters. Want some juice or some milk? At this Walmart in western Kentucky, people stood in long lines to purchase anything that might help them weather the bitter cold. We now have 93 water systems with some type of problem. We have 64 systems which are just down completely because of lack of power. Authorities warn it could be several more days or weeks before power is fully restored. At the height of the storm, more than a million people were without electricity. Three thousand restoration workers will be on the job before the end of this day. They have a staging area set up at the Kentucky Fairgrounds aimed at making them more efficient. feeding their uh, two hot meals early morning, late evening with a box lunch to go out with the uh, contractors to the job so we stay on the job. We're fueling the trucks at night to keep them working and not stopping for fuel and then we're delivering parts directly to the staging area. are making progress in the restoration efforts. Let's go ahead and take a live look from WLKY's News Chopper at crews working to get the lights back on. And this is at Barstown Road and Eastern Parkway. And as you can see, wow, they've got their work cut out for them. You can see the A devastating ice storm hit Kentucky. About a half million residents are still.
temperature rise tomorrow. It might even make it up into the 40s. That could be a great deal of help to everyone trying to get through all of this. And it could help also melt a lot of icicles that are hanging on trees and branches and power lines.